Glad to have you in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're going to see polar opposites in terms of velocities in this game. And when you want to pass the ball all the time, move quickly, sometimes facing a team that's based in a ground-oriented time of possession attack can be very frustrating. You get antsy. You get too eager to make plays. Can they maintain their concentration if they don't get the ball as often as they're used to? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. setting for this incredible matchup coming up. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Well, Finley has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Underwood takes it to 12. Brought down at the 35. SMU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time right here, right after here. time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackle at the 36. SMU still riding high after that record-setting performance a week ago, but he better get back to work, get his feet back on the ground. Those awards are great, but uh, the old saying is you can't rest on your laurels. He's got to get back to work here. From their own 36-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Go, boy! And a quick throw. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From the 50, first down. Play fake and looking to run. He sails it long. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. And here's another third down. Be able to get the pass off. Going deep, lays it out there. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. the 21-yard line. It's first down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 15-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fires incomplete. You got 
to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Five wide. And he's tackled right away. Tenth play of the drive. stop at the three-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. This is the 11th play of this drive. Red two. Blue four. Blue four. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. This one tight. The Red Raiders get the W, 30 to 28. Meanwhile, the Hurricanes finally get the Gators right where they want them. On the field, battling for the Seminole War Canoe. And for Miami, they've now won three in a row. And for Allen, he had a touchdown run in this one. Miami takes the W by a Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. SMU ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 27-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds around the 32 yard line. They hand it off. And they get nice yardage on that run. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. Yard line. Johnson takes the set at the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Two down, two down. Back two. Back two. Back two. Here we go. Green on the gun. Check the gun. Green on the gun. Slings it. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. Arnold in the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. Taken down at about the 37 yard line. Caught open field. He's taken down right around 30. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Call it again in three yards. That makes it second and six.
He's looking for six. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. This is the ninth play of this drive. bring him down at about the 11. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. And he's tackled at the four. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam plays like that. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Defense and their short yardage packing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So at the end of one quarter, the Mustangs lead 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Touchdown, OU! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take you down to Tallahassee. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Seminoles walked out with a seven-point win. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. From the seven. Gets out to about the 31. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws complete. He's hit right away. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He makes the catch and has a first down. Tackle made at the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's going to air it long. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gets it. He's in space. Gets it out quickly. He gets hit out of bounds at the one-yard line. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Level at the two. That is a loss of two yards. 
That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Tackle at the two-yard line. No game. That makes it third and goal. Fourth down, they'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. SMU could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma! <laughs> and he hits the PAT. Finley gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. The Mustangs, quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, if you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their middle on mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. From the 48-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and they make the stop at about the 41. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Rifles at right. And it falls incomplete. third down and this is about three feet away from that first down marker got his 
receiver dropped it. Incomplete. Was the intended receiver on the play? Some steam on that throw, and down he goes at the 16. SMU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he's hit immediately. three they'll kick the extra point and he converts the extra point so an 11 play 69 yard drive and it's good for seven points Brett I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down SMU kicks this one off Miller takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 37. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Sooners taking their first time out of the half. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a game of five on the play. Check, check. Third down. Stay ready. Check Stay three. Ready. Check three. Check three. Check three. gets rid of this one. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Butler will be the return man. He's tackled at the 25. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. SMU has a three-point lead. He makes his way out to about the 35. Sets him up nicely with a first and goal. A great first half comes to a close. SMU's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here come locked in on that first half. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or you know change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. 
And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 46. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 41. Arnold brings his down. First down. Larry, Larry. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of the yards. That brings him second and five. Gets out to around the 25. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. Right here. Hey, look 48. Hey, look like the 48. Right now, let's go. Ready. Check, check. Play, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. And for Holmes, he now owns the school's record for touchdown catches in a career. I don't think this record has come easily for him, but he looks just as quick and sure-handed as he did when he first got here. He's got a lot of great football left in him. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 54-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, 21-17. Finley has the ball all teed up and ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That's a great tackle at the 31. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Caught out of the open. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Harper is waiting for the snap. He's got the corner. Miller fields at the 30. Tackle made at the 45. Snyder's kept his cool after a bad first half. Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable. I mean, his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. Oklahoma is up by four. Here we go. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. 
but they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now. They need to get it inside the 45. Aaron and out long. And he tackles him hard at the five. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Sooners. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Once and all, going deep. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kick and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 24 yard line wow close game here and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done well it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays and you're right you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back and they've done that Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. You know, when this defense went over the sideline, the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face, he's got to challenge them, he's got to get their emotions going. It's because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's, it's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 24 yard line, second down, Oklahoma is up four. Zips it to the back, and he is drilled at the 25-yard line. He heaves it deep. Missed it. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Brown is the putter. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. And for Snyder. He's racked up solid passing stats. Well, it's been a fun afternoon because he's having a lot of success. And the reason is he's in tune with his receivers and they're really playing with a great rhythm. And the thing that stands out when you look at this video is the way he's been able to put the ball right on the money. Really, where only his receivers can make the catch. Time after time, he's made the throw to allow his receivers to catch and get upfield. So now the offense comes back for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He unloads it. 
that close to being intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Second and ten. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 39. Throws it deep, picked off. It's the ball hawking freshman. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year. They got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing and he can help in that area. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 18. Oklahoma holds a four point lead. Fires incomplete. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. the 49. Here they come. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Mike two, Mike two. Tackle around the 48 yard line. Oklahoma is up by four. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, he, man up. Go. Green 19. Green 19. Throws it to the outside. And this one falls incomplete. Great display of offense by both teams so far. As we head to the fourth, Oklahoma's up by four. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide a tight ball game through three. out of bounds the 31 yard line throws complete he's got room to work and they push him out at about the seven yard line Brought down right around the 
four yard line. Oklahoma is up four. play for the offense that can put them up by two scores. It's third down from the four. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 82-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Butler fields it at the 7, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down right around the 34. about four yards away here on second down. Got it. Tight end's got the first. And he's level at the 44. Throw it in a hurry. He's looking for six. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Everyone's on. at the 33-yard line. Both teams realize all the snap were one play away from a very different ball game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 42. Arnold on the tackle at the 42-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Gain of three on the play. 
first down. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Mike two, Mike. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. SMU just took their first time out. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled in the open field. The Mustangs use their second time out. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Caught, and that's a first down. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31. see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter they're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here Touchback. The Mustangs have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense downfield. Under a minute left. <laughs> he's under pressure. Going deep. Across midfield. Great concentration to pull it in. He's got room. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Out again of two yards. Yellow three. Yellow three. Spikes the ball. That makes it 37. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Wants to go long, 